The valves are primarily used for double isolation of an instrument, be that a gauge or a transmitter. The primary and secondary valves are in the open position during normal operating conditions, allowing the process pressure to enter the gauge or transmitter to perform its function, to give a pressure reading. When the gauge or transmitter need removing for calibration in a workshop, the primary is closed to block the pressure. The secondary and vent are open to release the pressure within the instrument. The secondary and vent are then closed and the instrument safely removed. The double block gives two isolations to prevent process escaping while the instrument is removed. Once the instrument is calibrated or replaced with a new one, it can be fitted back on top of the valve outlet and the primary and secondary valves opened again to allow pressure measurement to continue. It is possible to calibrate a pressure transmitter without removing it. This is in-situation calibration, commonly called in-situ calibration. To do this, you follow the procedure to vent the valve. Then a known pressure is pumped into the open vent. A handheld measuring device is then electrically connected to the terminals inside the rear of the transmitter. If the known pressure from the pump agrees with the electrical reading from the transmitter, it is in calibration. If the readings do not agree, the measuring device has the ability to electronically change the reading to make it agree with the known pressure. This is the in situ calibration completed, and the valves are again returned to their operating positions.